Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Tavern of the Gods, a roguelite auto battler, auto chess style game that I've been I've been very excited to check out for a long time. It, it seems like one of those ones where mechanically it is very strong, so I've been excited to check it out. And now it is out in 1.0, so this is a perfect opportunity to check it out. So here we shall go. Uh, what the heck here? Okay, world map. I assume we should probably start here. So we get to pick our character. Uh, recommended followers, nature, nature warrior. Okay, so we all they, they have different classes here. What on earth? Oh, we can even uh, we can unlock upgrades to these characters. Okay, maximum health of allies, nature followers by thirty percent. Okay. Uh, attack power of warriors. Okay, so that you really are like, hey, pick nature and warrior class, okay? Mage followers are immune to silence. Uh, spell power of bizarre followers. So, yeah, it seems like we're, we're getting kind of like these ones shoehorn you into specific ideas uh, of what kind of like types of units to go for, which makes sense. It just gives them benefits to it, but then there's all these other characters, and it looks like, yeah, there's some kind of, yeah, extra upgrades to, like, human followers, demon followers, so I imagine it's gonna be, like, um, like, auto chess in the sense where they have a class and then they have, like, a race, uh, for two separate different benefits, what do we want, Savage Ranger, Mage Bazaar, I, you know what? I, I, I like the idea of Bizarre. So let's select that. So we get to pick a follower. So we get like one... Do we just... We get to pick one unit just to straight up start with. Uh, Mage and Bizarre. Is there... We got a Winter Elemental. Interesting. So we get to pick our, our, our first unit. I imagine we're going to be able to get like a whole bunch more. But uh, getting one to start with just right off the bat sounds really nice. So this is the only bizarre mage that I see out of this list here. I I will say I know for a fact there are a lot more units than these. <laughs> I, I did look at that. Uh, so what is your deal? When a normal attack hits I, I cannot see the full thing there. I hope that it'll <laughs> you know what, let's just pick it. Alright, to the dark forest. Are we going to be playing on normal? Probably. Sure. Boss, lizard man, leader. I, I've heard that this has, like, uh, yeah, very, very solid mechanics. Like, the, the thing that turned me slightly away from it was just, like, UI and uh, just slight visuals. Almost gave you, like, kind of, like, Warcraft map vibes. But, honestly, that's exactly what I want today, is Warcraft map vibes. The currencies can only be used on this expedition. Okay, so we could spend our gems to get bonus things for this expedition. We already have some of this stuff. I, uh, you know, every purchase increases the cost of all items. Let's just say no. Let's not buy anything right now. Okay, so we've got, yep, this, we got some auto chess action going on here. Uh, okay, so good. We can see the passive. When normal attacks hit, there probably was a way to see the full thing before, too. When a normal attack hits, winter element will gain one layer of wind effect. The wind lasts for five seconds and can be stacked. When the wind reaches six layers, the next attack will make an enemy freeze. So more or less, after you attack a certain amount of times, uh, you can freeze. But we'll want to try and find a way to increase the attack speed because then we'll be able to... Because it's a, they freeze for a flat amount of time. So if we could attack a lot of times with this, that would be something to, to look into. And then the active is Cold Snap. Cast a Path of Frost, dealing 250 spell damage to all enemies in the path. Okay. The enemies on this map have been reduced to have been reduced the max health and damage. Be, but still be careful. Okay. Let's go. It looks like there's maybe a little bit of even in the 1.0 there maybe was like a little bit of translation mismatch there. Choose an enemy. Oh. Do we if we beat them, do we get them? Cuz then maybe we want another uh winter element cuz like I bet you we can uh do something where we you know, combine them into three. We have the mage and bizarre benefit. Let's let's cross that bridge when it when it comes to it. You know, it looks like we'll get some kind of active abilities as well. Oh my! There it is. It is. It's 
<laughs> Definitely, it, it's kind of, yeah, it's a little bit more akin to, like, an auto chest than uh, other auto battlers that I've seen. Okay, so we get to pick a loot uh, choice from here. We have a Demon Summoner, a Savage Guardian. None of these have any of the benefits we, we wanted. We do get one free reroll. Uh, I'm looking for some, like a, a Bazaar or a Mage, probably, to get those benefits to really lean into my character right now. Uh, what is this? Winter Element. Is that not what we have? It says not owned. I thought this was what we had. Either way, it probably is a good idea to go for. Unless there's another... Oh, there's another Bazaar. What does Bazaar do? Three Bazaar Fighters together. It, when three... No, when three Bazaar fight together, increase attack speed of Bazaar followers by 35% and attack speed of other followers by 12. That would help, but we do need to get three for that to become even relevant. I'm going to buy that and buy that. Because it looks like we can actually buy both. Uh, assassin. Two assassins fighting together increases the crit damage by 15%. We would get, you know what? Sure. We'll do that and then let's, um, and then let's wait. We have seven bucks. Maybe we can go ahead and get away with this without having to, uh, to reroll too much. Okay, so you are definitely tankier here. S silence. The silence sword. Brutal bear. You know what? There's something I actually kind of adore about <laughs> What I think is probably, like, a little bit of lost in transla translation naming. I actually kind of like it. There's something there's something kind of sweet about Brutal Bear. <laughs> I like it. I don't know. All right. Passive. Each layer of debuff damage on the target will increase the damage from Brutal Bear by 3%. Okay. Uh, bleed, poison, poisonous bleed. Wait. <laughs> bleed, poison, and poisonous blood. Wow, there's a there's even a poisonous blood thing. Uh, okay. Active pounce towards the enemy with the least health within 12 yards. Good. Okay, so we got like a straight up melee character there. 250 spell damage to the enemy and silences the target for three seconds. When normal attacks hit, deduct the target with 10 points of mana. Like it, it all like it, it that's the thing. It all like makes sense. Like I can I can piece it together. Silent Sword. I do like that also. It seems like we're fighting units that we could have. Not enough leadership? What? Upgrade to leadership. Oh. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. We can probably only have two on the, on the field right now, right? Like, we could level up. Oh, we can only have one on the field right now. Let's level up. So now we can have... Ah! They... I, oh! Oh! That... I actually really like that mechanic. That's interesting. It is not based off of how many units. It is based off of the unique power level of the units, which I can only imagine is a variable amount. Otherwise, this is just a very complicated way to do it. Uh, that is... Very interesting. Okay, so like, see if we put this guy here, we go up to 21 out of 14. We can't have that yet. We're going to have to go further in the run. I was going to say, it felt kind of weird that we could just like buy 200 things. But that makes me uh, happier that we, um, you know, don't have to... Oh, wait a minute. What? You summon... Don't have to, to buy all those things. We can wait a little bit and, uh, and stockpile some stuff. Select one from three equipment. Ooh. Okay. So, yes. My, my suspicions were correct. This is... The reason this is beloved by the few people that I've heard talk about it seems to be... This is... Boy, boy howdy. This is absolutely a, a dream for people who are just wanting uh, a deep mechanical, single-player, auto-battling or auto-chess kind of, kind of experience. This is very... I, I get, I, like, it is clear to me already why, why the people who play this liked it. Uh, unique equipment. When attacked, the armor and spell resistance will be increased by 3% for 4 seconds, stacking infinitely. Uh, when normal attack taken... <laughs> the, the translation stuff does take me out of it like a hair, I will admit. But, it, you can get past it, like... Bonus damage, I imagine that's just on, like, a melee hit.
I don't really... Sure. So we could buy another one. Cost one die. You know what? Let's say no for now. No for now. We have another bizarre mage. A thunder golem. Absolutely. What is your... And he takes eight. So we could take the one out and put you in. Human summoner. Nature assassin. It's a dual master. Like, I don't know if I'm going to want to go in on assassins. I, I I don't know what the crossover between nature is with this. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll buy you and then there's a free reroll. So we'll take it. We have a silent sword. Why does it say not owned? Oh, they're, that's like the passive of them is like not owned, I think. Hmm. I'll buy you to try. I can only imagine we can group three. I thought we bought a second one of these. Did I like just, do I just like straight up? Oh, they have stars by them. They already did. What am I, what am I doing when I'm buying those then? I, I have to be doing something, right? Am I upgrading your stats? I don't know, man. Okay, so where do we want to put this on? Basic damage, which I would imagine would be the melee. Uh, who has better attack speed? Can we check that? Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Ah, okay. One out of two right there. You see that? You see that? Okay, so actually, I really like that. It, it should probably... Maybe I can find a spot visually where it's a little bit more clear here. But I like the fact that we do not have to store them on the bench. In a competitive one, like, I get it. That's, like, part of the fun for some people, I'm sure. Uh, and then, like, trying to look and figure out who's got the least cohesive synergy. I, I like that idea as well. I think that's very clever. Uh, I actually kind of want to do this, though. Okay, yeah. Tax per sec. We just wanted to, we just wanted to be on the one who attacks a little bit faster. All right, so what's your deal? You do have a little bit more health, so I'll put you in front. Passive. There's a 35% chance to cause a thunder. Cause a thunder to attack the target when normal attack crit. I mean, like, again, it conveys what it needs to, so, okay. The damage and effects of the thunder are the same as thunderstorms. Okay. So, thunderstorm, summon four thunders to attack the enemy. The thunder will randomly attack the target and enemies within four yards. Each thunder does 155 spell damage. The same target can receive two thunders. Okay. All right. Again, just sort of seems like uh, maybe a, a little bit of extra attack speed will actually help us out more than anything. Oh, my God. Oh, we got the mage boost. I didn't see what that did yet. Uh, mage followers restore 12 mana per second. Awesome. And we unlocked a new skill slot. Oh, no, man. So many choices. Uh, I mean... Not really, but like, I mean, so many choices overall in this game. We have this book, so we could, we could get shelter. Sure. Summon a shield to protect an ally's, ally's follower. Okay. The shield can absorb all damage for the follower. The maximum value does not exceed 35% of their max health. Okay. First of all, adore that there is active gameplay in that, in that capacity. Uh, it's going to be a while before we can really do anything with that extra leadership. So, yeah. Oh, okay, good. They, they actually tell you that they have the mage bonus or whatever already. So, that's good. We're, we're going to take the things that don't have the bonuses for now. Like, I'm sure there'll be a point where we would understand the characters more. and Maybe some, some even without a bonus, would be more scary. Ooh, it slows down time, too? Okay. Hold on. Why is this, like... Th this is... This is one you play for the uh, the mechanics. Absolutely. Oh my god. This is one you play for the mechanics. Uh, Overlord Fist. Unique equipment. Normal attack will cause extra damage. Value is equal to 1% of the wearer's maximum health. Interesting. So the more HP they have, the more damage they do with their melee. 20% chance to bleed the enemy when a normal attack hits. Oh, unique, equip unique equipment reduced cooldown by 25%. We are leaning in into that a little bit more. This filthy... <laughs> it's a hat, and it's called Filthy Blood. Oh, God. Uh, I, I, you know, we're doing just fine, so I'm going to... I don't want to waste my stuff yet. We will level up the winter element. I'm curious to see if that ends up... Okay, good. It did not increase the cost. We got a nature mage, the ghost sorcerer. 
Uh, continue to cast spells, casting one missile at an enemy per second. And each missile costs 30 mana and deals 140 spell damage. Okay. Uh, increase the mana recovery according to the lost mana for every 10% of the maximum mana lost. The mana recovery spell is increased. I kind of like the idea of that. And you know what? I was right. The, the, there seems to be a little bit of a overlap with nature and mages more than I was anticipating. So maybe we care about that. What does the nature do? Five nature fighters together. Oh, wait. Three nature fighters together. Oh, wait. They're not even the same thing. I was assuming it was just like the five would be the same as the three, but better. It's not. Increase the spell resistance of followers by 35% of nature followers by 35%. And I also really like that. That's one thing that I, I, I get that is fun for some people about auto battlers or auto chess games in specific, where it's like, we get the, we get a set of nature units and it only helps the nature units. Like I get it. It's fun to, for something like some builds to be like, yeah, we have six of these that, cause that's what you do. I like the variability that brings, uh, brings, this brings to the table but by having it be like yes it may it really really helps with the nature and it's probably super optimal maybe like 12 percent or like 10 percent attack speed on you know whatever this unit is better than 30 30 percent on a nature unit or whatever you know something like that so I like that. I like that idea a lot. I, I think that that's a great idea mechanically for uh, for broadening horizons for what's possible in builds. Do we need you? Do we have you? We have one of you. I guess I'll get you. Not that it's going to matter yet. Uh, cost one to refresh. We have so much money. Let's do it. Didn't we already upgrade you? Go sorcerer, sure. All right, what's this? Scorpion. Summoner Savage, Summoner Savage. Yeah, we'll just call that for now. Oh, we, it's because we haven't done it yet. Gotcha. Promote! Max health, 25% damage up, 25% active skill level up by one. Oh, okay, so it gains a whole other line. Slow the target, reducing the attack speed and movement speed by 25%. Let, let's let give you the 25% uh, cooldown reduction then. That sounds like a good idea. They unlock freaking traits too? Equipment transmog? What? Three identical tri tri Wait, equipment's gonna be transmuted. It'll upgrade the main equipment to legendary quality. Wait. Main? Okay. If the three equipments to transmute can activate a suit, the suit attribute will be added to the main equipment as the new attribute. I don't know what that means yet. I do see number of items owned 144 is bonkers. All right. What are we at? We're, we're pretty far off. Like I could... I, you know what? Let's just not do that yet. I'm not having any issues in these fights at the moment. And I probably should have even less of a, a problem in the fight now. What's the range like? It doesn't really matter too much. But I just would have thought since we got that really big upgrade on that guy that we'd be all right. I like that it shows... The, it has a visual line to show the cooldown. And it shows it matching with the mana. That's actually so clever to figure out. It, it really helps you figure out... I do know I have my shields and everything. I've just been watching that because I knew we were going to win. Um, that's so clever because then you can really easily see... Oh my god. Okay, so that's the the leadership is is how he's determined that. Let's let's buy the extra leadership. So it gives us a higher chance of getting rare units now. I mean, I already got you, but sure. Let's do a little refresh here. Hell, we're going to get another one of you before we Wow. Wow. It's the silence sword or the that was the dual master. Okay. I mean, I'll upgrade both of you because I think it's just free. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do after. Okay. We're at... We have five spaces. 
Let's upgrade twice and get somebody else in there. So what do we want? We we want a bizarre, a bizarre character. Three bizarre fight together, increase the attack speed of bizarre followers by thirty-five percent. And then we have like a a more, I, I would imagine more traditional frontline unit. He is not much tankier than the Thunder Golem is. I guess because the Thunder Golem is a rare unit. He has no armor or anything to speak of. I will say that we should definitely take uh, this. Put it there now, though, right? Wait, no. Wait. Oh, wait. Oops. Yes, I just put it on the wrong one. Yeah. Because, I mean, if you don't understand why, more attacks per second, and this is a flat amount of attack damage up. It should just go on the person who attacks more often. No matter no matter who they are, really, right now. Until we get down to semantics uh, in the future. So it looks like we can maybe upgrade this. If we get those special books. I don't know how to get those books. Hello. Before the challenge, let's prepare something. Trading station. I don't have any of these. I don't have any of these. Lizard man leader. Level one stone piercing. Cast a fan shaped spike stone area at the most distant enemy within 10 yards. Uh. Hmm. So maybe we want to have you be the most distant enemy since you have a little bit more health. A little bit tankier. Uh, bu 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 bu. Yeah, that's really all we really need to care about here. It looks like he might be his own thing. Like, I, I don't think he's a unit that we could get, which I actually think is very cool. I, I like that idea a lot. That there's some units that we actually cannot get. Okay, let's get ready on our active ability here. Alright, we're fine. We're totally fine. We're start. We're building a pretty gnarly set. We're, we're playing on norm, normal difficulty. All is well in the world. I wouldn't imagine we would be having any issues yet. All right. Normal, normal, normal. <laughs> Spell penetration, 25%. Ooh, attack speed up by 50%, but active skills will not be cast. That's a really fun one. I love seeing when items get so weird. I'm gonna buy that because that will be good on somebody. Like, there's gonna be somebody that that's amazing on. Dual Master. What's your active? I don't know. Don't know, man. Shadow Assassin. We could we could care about the assassin, I guess. Uh, bullying. If there's no other enemy within three yards of the target enemy, critical damage to the target is increased by fifty percent. Uh, blink behind the enemy's rearmost enemy. Dealing three sixty spell damage. I'll buy you. Fine. Sure. Definitely gonna buy another one of those. What is this? Savage warrior. Human mate. Oh, a fire warlock. Let's go. What what are, is there a boost for four mages? Okay. Uh, debilitate. When attacked by the enemy, the attacker will be debilitated under debilitate. Reduce crit damage. Crit chance by 2% for 4 seconds. Active summon. Two firestorms to target location. Each storm dealing 170 spell damage to target and all enemies within 3.2 yards. I mean, I'm definitely buying you. The question is if I want to start refreshing. The thing is, like, we could start refreshing. We obviously have money. We're not having issues right now. And I don't know what... First of all, I don't know if there's econ. I don't think so. I don't think so. To the ominous caves. The dirty sewer. Boss stinking queen. I'll fight the spider queen instead of the stinking queen. Thank you very much. Get ready for a new challenge. Let's go. I mean, yeah, probably just a second. Oh, wait. We can bring this back up whenever. 
I could refresh it at, at, at any time, but I feel like we just get a free refresh every fight. It just feels like that's the way to go. Um. We could almost have four mages. We would lose the bizarre boost, though, which that 35% will help us freeze enemies a lot. And more or less, it would help us with the Thunder Golem, too. Uh, since it's a 35% chance on crit. Oh. I mean, still, more attacks does increase the chance of that. With normal attack... When a normal attack hits, deduct the target with 10 points of mana. I do like that as well. Like, we could... We'd have to go all in to put both of these in. We'd have to press the... Eh, we just can't. We can't get them all in right now. So now we have to start caring about this. Do we? What, what is our worst problem? I don't know if I care about armor because I would I would imagine at the very least that magic damage and physical damage are completely different. Uh, my shield here. Go get him, champ! I, we are indeed reducing the mana that poor sap who, who can't do anything. This is our anti-mage. This is... I really like this. I really like this. This is like... Again... This is just a mechanics, mechanics simulator, which is speaks to me deeply. Uh, when attacked, normal armor spell resistance for each additional enemy within four yards, the damage is increased. Their damage is increased. Bloody pioneer, rune elder, attack power up. I'll take it. I'll take it. Can't be bad, right? So that's gonna be a dual master up even higher, I guess. I... Of all things, though, that's not really what I've been looking for. I do like the Silence Sword for what it's worth. Helps us get the Bazaar. Why why you're not a Bazaar is beyond me. That makes literally no sense to me. But, you know, Gorst, Gorst Sorcerer up. Bazaar Mage. Wait, so we need more for the upgraded Thunder Oh my god, what the hell? Fire Warlock up, sure. Oh my god. Okay, Ghost Sorcerer up for when I can get something going with you. We have we have a lot of options. Dual Master up. <laughs> Just, I mean, I could, I could drop you in and then we have the Assassin bonus, which increases their crit damage. If it was in uh, crit chance increase, I'd be a little bit more interested. Wow, okay, so they can go beyond three stars, too. Okay, okay, okay. I do like seeing our ghost sorcerer up. Uh, are you a bizarre? No, you are nature. Are you nature? You are a human. Uh, oh. Brutal bear, I think it's... I think, yeah. You might be gone. How do I sell you? Human. What is the human bonus? Just for a second. Uh, reduced duration of crowd control effects. Nah. I'm not going to say it's bad. I just... I don't think I'm going to lean into that build. I don't think so. It's cool, but I don't think I'm going to do it. Alright. Uh, let's, let's care about our items now for a second. Do we want to go for this? I kind of like, you know what? Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go all in. You can't use your mana destruction ability anymore, but you're gonna attack like crazy, which means they're gonna have no mana. Fifty percent extra attack speed. Whoever he's targeting will not be able to cast spells. That is just the facts. Uh, okay, so you do two fifty. You do one fifty five. Uh, so I guess we should probably take both of those and put you on there. Are we getting we're getting close to the point where we could cash out and uh and get an extra upgrade? But let's just move on for now. Feature. Feature increased critical damage of enemy by 100%. But we get two times the item. Let's go stupid style. Let's go. All right, I'm da I'm, I'm getting dangerous. I'm, I'm all right. I'm really really got to watch my abilities here. 
Okay, we're, we're gonna be just fine. We're gonna be just fine. We're scared. We're fine. Oh, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. It was a little zesty, but we're gonna get double the bonus, though. Do we get two of this item? There's a 20% chance to poison the enemy when the attack hits. Pain origin. Precious robe. <laughs> did we did we get two copies of it? Is that what it is? Let's see if we can upgrade this now. Ooh. Ooh, we got some epics. We got an epic. But it is a mage, though, so that's actually awesome. First of all, I will definitely buy that. Uh, demon. What is demons? Increase leech and spell leech. Okay, so I'll buy you to have as potentially a pocket demon for when I inevitably buy this guy. I just want to see what you do. Uh, active. 530 spell damage to an enemy and fear the targets for two seconds. That's amazing. Passive. Attack, attack hits an enemy with bleed or poisonous blood. Ignore 25%. When you attack an enemy with bleed or poisonous blood, ignore their spell resistance. Is that... Did I piece that together right? Definitely buying that. And I think we are actually going to call it there. Upgrade to the Thunder Golem. Yeah, okay. We do... We get two copies of it. So what's... Wait, what's... What is this? What What's happening here? Takes three equipments to transmute. Three identical equipments cannot be transmuted. I'm not going to do this, but like... Okay, so... Can we do this? Gotcha. So how, how much of a difference does the legendary make? 30% spell resistance up to 60! And the attribute of any secondary equipment. Huh. That is different than the original attribute. Oh my god, this is so deep. Oh no. Oh no, I'm into it. Okay. Uh Oh no. Oh no, I'm so into it. Just got to figure out what is worth combining here. Attack speed increased by 100%. And the attribute of any secondary equipment that is different than the original attribute. Attack power up by 60%. Whoo, Nelly. All right. Uh... Now I can't get rid of the silent sword. Or at least I, I could, but I'd have to, like... You know. I'd have to, uh... Find somebody else to put that stuff on. For sure. Okay, we have three here. Uh... What do you need? You need nine. We'd have to upgrade four more times. Let's go do one more fight before we go for any kind of upgrade. Assassin. Uh... These guys are probably gonna blink behind us and stuff. Is that, isn't that what you do? Yeah, we don't really... Well, actually, we could do it, then we just move... We just replace you guys like that. I think that's actually a good, good call. I'm excited to see this guy absolutely go ham. Oh, my God! Look at him go! Please, 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 please. Okay, we might lose our first unit. Okay. I don't think when they die, they're dead forever. But that, that was actually really tight. We are We're hitting a bottleneck here. Got a new skill slot, but we don't have... Oh, we could get uh, Frustration. Disarm an enemy follower, preventing them from causing normal attacks for three seconds. Okay. Stuns an enemy. For 1.5 seconds seems great. 
God's wrath. But at a certain point, it looks like, yeah, we could upgrade it. So yeah, we can even mess around with that. Oh my God. Soul Devourer. Normal attack will cause extra damage equal to 1% of your maximum, of their maximum health. Active skill level up. Maximum level of 10? I didn't even know that that was a thing. Okay, here the Fire Warlock. Thunder Golem. Yes to all that. This is just a tank. This is literally just a... It's a bizarre tank. If we get five bizarre, we can make it so they... The enemies we target might not regenerate health. Which is good. Dark Amazons. Ah. Let's just see what else. They oh my god. Gloomy Gargoyle is a demon mage. Absolutely, we're going to be able to find a way to fit them in there. There's so many different types of units here. I right, will buy this. Fine. Uh, what is your deal? 530 spell damage and fear the targets for two seconds. Fair enough. Oh, wait, that's the one we already have. Okay. I thought... For some reason, I thought it was some kind of a sorcerer. Thunder Golem, yes! Duel Master? I could. But I'm just going to stop there. Okay, so we have... There's four there. Promote ya. Promote ya. We really got to figure out what we're doing next here. Uh, and then promote you. Active skill level up. So what does that do? I wonder if at a certain point it just like increases the damage. Six thunders. Okay. I guess this is your your situation for now. Oh, we can sort it by. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Nice. Okay. All right. Yeah, then we got four. We could have to upgrade three times. Let's do one more fight, I guess, and then we can upgrade three times or two times. It's a little bit more doable. Uh, Guardian. Increase the basic max health. Do you jump behind? do this and we should be okay we a second front line would be good if we that's the thing is if we go all in on the the mages we're gonna have a little bit of an issue in that regard okay we might lose you for the first time nope let's go Let's go. Robot harm. You know, we maybe could, like, give the attack speed to... I don't know. At the beginning of battle, the wear gains a shield that absorbs all damage. Ooh. Mana rate will increase the normal attack damage extra. What? Uh, oh. Your damage is equal to your mana. Gotcha. I definitely like the idea of the robot arm. Uh, Gloomy Gargoyle up. Nice. It's a big, a big get. Oh my god. Alright, what else here? Summoner Demon. There's, there's definitely a play for a Demon Assassin. What's your deal? Chance of causing the enemy to poison... When the normal attack it crits. Uh, cast Stinger to a random enemy within five yards. Soon points ahead. You know what? I'll, I'll buy you as a perspective maybe thing. Uh, this is this is neat. Like, getting this guy in would be pretty big. Uh, so, how do we do that at this point? Nine. It's not happening. We'd have to get you to 31. So, let's put in a an assassin. Oops. There we go. 
We get might as well get that bonus for now. Upgrade you. I'm gonna let's see. Back to this. lost the attack damage part of that okay but yeah this item system is incredible so is it a 50 50 like which one you get or is it always the one on the left i don't know i don't know i don't know but this is this game is sick i could see myself losing so many hours to this put the shield on that just like mechanically fascinating. And the fact that we have the active abilities that we can upgrade and everything as well. Oh my god, we are destroying right now. Also, there's a speed up I didn't even notice. Summon summon on one eye when cast active skill. That's 20% 20, 20 of the summoner's max health, normal attack, and has num numerical attributes. Okay. Uh, increase the summon's health by 60%. We don't have any summons right now. I'll get I'll get pain pain origin for now. Water elemental horse dryad. Uh, yeah yeah yeah. Do we want one? I don't know if we want this. Let's refresh refresh for free. Dual master sure. And then let's call it on that. Uh. There we go. Thirty one. Um. Well, but now I'm just not sure. You you have a lot of health though. Attacks hit an enemy with bleed or poison blood. Ignore twenty five percent of their spell resistance. I mean, like, okay, gotcha. I think that um, moving all of this stuff to the gloomy gargoyle is going to be a good call. Okay, so it's like a 50-50, I guess. But that makes it better, so it's like getting garbage. Ooh. Okay, what do we... How many books do we have of... Can't get either of those. If we could get two blue books or two white books. I'll do it. Two blue books. Upgrade! Oh my god, we get a pick a- Oh no, this game is getting so much better by the second. During the duration of the shield, the follower reflects 25% of the normal damage, or the maximum value is increased by an additional 35%. Let's do that. I, I really want to use it as a keep them alive kind of a concept. All right, we have a dual master. What's your deal? Summon five spider larvae to attack the enemy. Each spider larvae has 10% of the queen's maximum health and 10% of the queen's normal attack. 10% of the imperial attributes. Okay, whatever. You know, gotcha, more or less. Uh, can I stun bosses? I think we are going to absolutely wreck. Looks like that didn't do anything. Oh my god, the fr we, we keep freezing. Oh my god, we are absolutely destroying anything at all. Um, crit chance up. Somebody wanted that. Somebody wanted that indeed. Oh, okay, so we got it says up there we got that extra book there too. Gotcha. Holy mecha? <laughs> Always attack the furthest enemy within the range. Aim at the target and fire a laser for one second. Steering spell damage to all on its path. Ooh, that's fun. That's cool. Is it good for us? I don't know, man, but it sounds fun. Sounds fun indeed. Holy mecha! Spending all my money on a 
freaking holy mecca. Why not? Oh my god, he's thick! I just want to see him out there. Look at that boy. He's cool looking. Alright, well, oh, gosh, it's, it's such a shame. I, you know, I, I think I might have to play more of this. I might have to play more of this. Th this is gonna, unfortunately, have to do it for me for here, for today. Because I'm recording this video literally the morning this video comes out, so. It's a shame. I, I gotta cut it short here, but I, uh, I love this. I think it's incredible. I actually think it's incredible. I'll put a link at the top of the description. I don't know if this is on Nexus or not, but if it is, you know, any, any purchase on there. Uh, a small cut of that sale goes to me. Otherwise, it's just a normal Steam key, yada yada. I, I, I have to find, uh, yeah, I have to find an excuse to play more of this. I, it's so mechanically deep and complex and rich. Like, really, uh, what are my, what are my faults of this? I, I, pretty much just the translation. That's it. That's really just it. The translation is a little bit off. Uh, and it's kind of, it leads for some things that are a little bit confusing. However, like, I, I feel like I've been able to parse everything, which, honestly, there's some games that don't have, like, the translation issues and stuff, where the conveyance of what everything does mechanically is, is more confusing than this. So it's like, everything is, like, all of the, the that's the thing, is I would rather... I would rather have the words be placed in a way that maybe the sentence structure isn't totally normal or what you'd expect, like, proper, like, from a native English spe speaker or, you know, anything like that. But they are very, like, cur they are very accurate about what they do mechanically. I would vastly prefer that to be the case, and that does seem to be the case. So while, while that is an issue uh, that I would hope, I hope gets fixed in, in post-launch support, uh... Yeah, the other thing was, like, the I kind of, the, the, whatever, like, the, the visuals that I was kind of turned off by in the beginning, I don't really mind them. It kind of fades away. They're really just chess pieces, you know? Like, they, they, they could be, this game could genuinely have the units be uh, Snake RX style pixel circles of different colors. And this game would be good. This game would be really good still. So... They're, they're honestly, any visuals at all is just icing on the cake for this game. That's how I'm looking at it. The fact that it has visuals is amazing. And I actually think they're pretty good, honestly. Like, it's just, they, it has that slight issue that I find that some, some games have where the models and everything and the textures are actually pretty detailed, but you're so far away from them that it provides this kind of weird thing where I feel like when you have units this small, you kind of have to go for a really hyper-stylized, like, you have to lean into the more cartoony aspect almost just to have them look better from far away because otherwise like you're going to lose all of the sense of detail from the textures and everything anyway so it's going to get kind of muddied and confusing from this distance but i don't i think it looks good anyways like i really i don't know i i think they polished it up since i've looked at it last and then uh, i i think it's mechanically incredible uh this is a mechanically incredible game i need to play more of it that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching, though. Check out the channel. I cover indies every single day. If you do not want to miss an indie that is of this caliber, I, I cover... I am not... I, I do not have the normal criteria for covering indie games that a lot of other channels have. I, I will not let one or two things that would turn away a normal person <laughs> uh, turn me away. I, I will absolutely dig to find what is good about a game because everybody is looking for different games, you know? Everybody is looking for different games. And this, if you're looking for a mechanically rich game, other channels aren't going to just cover this stuff, you know? Other channels aren't going to cover this stuff, but this is one of the most mechanically rich games I've played this year. So here you go, man. This is sick. I love this. So that's that. That's going to do it for today. This has been Tavern of the Gods. My name is Retromation. Subscribe. Indies every day. Extra specialty and roguelikes. If that's your jam, then boy, howdy. You should subscribe. Otherwise, I don't know what to tell you, man. You're going to miss a lot of really good games. Thank you for watching. Like and comment. All that jazz. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of, about the game. If you were equally as blown away by the complexity and depth of strategic field that this game has. I, uh, I think it's it's got a lot to it. I think that there's going to be people out there <clears throat> that are going to see this, and they're going to sink about 100-plus hours into this game. Easy. Easy. I can already tell you. I played for one hour, and I can tell you that the replay value is there. That is impressive. 
That does not happen very often. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Check the channel. Indies every day. Thank you, thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.